This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're getting ready to install our new Minn Kota side mount jack leg brackets. It'll work with the Humblebird 360 or the Minn Kota Talon. The first thing, we've got this new three piece bracket. This is the plate piece that attaches to jack plate. This is the midsection. And this is the base plate that the 360 or the Minn Kota Talon will attach to. First thing we're going to do is bolt this up. Uh, the Atlas jack plate comes now standard with the holes already drilled so you don't have to drill them. Uh, if you have an older plate you will need to drill two holes in your jack plate. It is recommended to mount this as high as possible. Uh, you're going to take these two long bolts with four thick washers. You're going to put one on the bolt. You're going to put one on the inside next to the nut, lock nut. One thing that is highly recommended, you're going to get a little tube of an anti-seize compound. Uh, it comes with the package. You need to put this on to keep from uh, galding the stainless nuts. It makes it so much easier to install this if you what you'll need is a, a little bit of three quarter inch box end wrench and a three quarter inch ratchet. Um, you'll need those, you'll need the bolts, the nuts and the washer and the NICs. You put a washer on each bolt. These are big thick washers so next you're gonna just take this Install your bolts on this Atlas plate I've got. I've already measured the distance by traveling it up and down. It'll go in the slide and the top bolt hole. The next step is just tighten the heck out of them. Okay, once you get this piece on. Next thing to do is fit your universal bracket. This thing has got teeth on the outside of here, teeth on the inside of here, so you can angle this thing in a multitude of different, different directions. I mean, you could, if your transom comes in, you can run it in with this skeeter with the sponsons. I want to, I'm going to run this one parallel, seems to work the best as far as uh, positioning. What you need is, uh, there's a package with four big bolts that uh, just have threads on the end. Put that through there, put that on, get some of our good little anti-seize. Just, just a dab on there. And next thing to do is tighten that all down. Use the same tools as before, the three quarter inch wrench and ratchet. And it's rock solid. The next step after you do that is our base plate. And do the same thing. Now the thing with the base plate, you want to, you want it parallel to your transom. You don't want it you don't want it sticking back or sticking forward like this. So if you angle this piece, you want to put this piece in nice straight and in line. same tools to tighten this down. So all six of these bolts, three quarter inch socket and a three quarter inch box in wrench. The 
that's everything to put the universal bracket together. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install it. And we're going to put 360 on because I haven't got my base plate yet to do the double extension. We'll show you that in our 360 video. bracket on the back of the universal plate. If you're doing the talons, you would either put the tilt bracket or the talon bracket on the, the back of the plate. Next thing to do is going to require a half inch box end wrench. A ratchet with a half inch socket is, is just barely get these snug because we're going to have to level this up for the 360. We're going to I've checked the levelness of the boat and it's dead on. We're going to need to take our level and we need to level our bracket. Right in the middle. Finish snugging them down. Next thing is, it's time to start looking to the future. We're going to go to get the 360 imaging unit. We're going to put it on. I can't wait to get out on the water with this thing. This is going to revolution the way, revolutionize the way people fish forever, man. Um, one of the things you need to do is measure the distance you got different hole adjustments. You need about eight inches from the bottom of it up so it doesn't get sprayed. Which we're looking at about the bottom of our sponsor. I can already tell we're going to have to readjust this and drop that one more because we're really leaning back. So get it on, level it up, and that's a Minn Kota Talon Universal Brackets with the Hummingbird 360. Man, check out some more. We'll go into wiring. We'll go into Ethernet. We're, we're mad dash in the middle of rigging this new Skeeter FX20 and we're going to uh, stay tuned as we get some images from this and finish up the rigging on the boat. Uh, get out, enjoy the water. I hope to, I can help you get the most out of your investment and tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks.